Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk a little bit more about solar. I'm sure there's people out there that are interested in solar, but there's just a lot of questions they might have. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the net meter. Um, so when you go, uh, when you install a solar system, uh, they're going to come and they're going to replace your meter. Um, this meter reads a little bit different. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there probably don't even pay attention to the electric meter. Uh, quite frankly, it's just a, a meter that spins and, you know, but when you get solar put in and uh, it starts going back and forth, you're going to pay a lot closer attention to it, trust me. Uh, I actually have installed uh, an energy monitoring system, which I'll uh, get into in a, in a different video. But so the net, net meter works a little bit different. Um, you know, you'll hear about, uh, they'll talk about spinning the meter backwards and that really literally is what you're doing. Now, I will explain too that um, this goes for, uh, I'm on National Grid in Western New York. Uh, these meters are used all over the country. If you go on uh, YouTube, you'll find all kinds of videos explaining how to read these, but they're all different. They, for some reason, different companies use them differently. Uh, so this is very specific to National Grid in uh, upstate New York. Uh, so it really only has one number on it. Uh, the way they use it. Um, when they install this, it'll be at zero. Uh, you're basically gonna start from scratch. As you use electricity, this number is going to go up and it's gonna be a positive number. Now, as you put electricity into the grid, you produce more than you actually use, the number will go backwards. Now, since this meter can't display a negative number, what you'll do is you'll get to zero and then you'll go nine, 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 nine and then it goes 99998. And so the less than zero is, uh, means you've, you've actually added, uh, uh, you've actually put electricity into the grid. So we're reading 99805. So what that means right now is we have a credit of 195 kilowatt hours. So, and that's really all you'll, you'll see is that number. It's reading out kilowatt hours. Um, and then down in the bottom right corner, I'll show a close-up of that, but um, there are uh, little boxes and those boxes move. Uh, this kind of simulates, you know, the old wheel spinning. Um, if it moves left to right, that's kind of the traditional movement. And that means you're using electricity from the grid. That means this, is, this number will be going up. Um, you're actually you're actually uh, using electricity from National Grid. When, the, when these dots move from right to left, which is a non-traditional movement, that's actually going back out into the grid and it's producing a credit for you. And, and then the speed at which it goes really just depends on, so it's very sunny right now, so that, uh, those dots are moving pretty quickly. Um, the dot represents, as best as I can tell, I haven't been able to find any information about this online, but kind of just um, doing a little research and kind of counting the actual dots and watching the thing move. Each one of those is equal to a kilowatt. And so essentially, every time we get a thousand of those, that, that dot lights up a thousand times, this will go up or down by one kilowatt. So just a quick explanation of you know what you how this will affect your bill. Right now we're showing, like I said, a, a, a credit of 195 kilowatt hours. Basically, that will show up as a credit on our bill, on our electric bill, um, and that credit will pass over till next month. Now we do. You're still going to end up owing your electric company money. Um, there is, uh, in a, for ours, for National Grid, it's $17. It's basically just a service fee and you're gonna pay that no matter what, whether you use any electricity or not, just to have the service on, just to have the meter, you pay $17 a month. So that's basically what we are. This, this credit will pass over till the next month and we'll either add to it next month or we'll use some of it up. And that continues to pass on. And so as long as we're producing more electricity than we're using, uh, which we're doing a very good job right now, um, <clears throat> then really we're just going to be paying the $17. Uh, now we've actually sized, I, I've sized this system to approximately what we used for a year. Um, and the reason for that, you might say, well, if we're producing so much electricity now, why, why such a big 
system, uh, you know, if, if we're, we're going to credit. The house here, out here, we have no gas, so everything in the house is electric. The, the, uh, our stove is electric, the, um, the furnace is electric, a hot water heater, and so when you get to the winter time and we start having to run the furnace, we're probably going to be using these credits up. So the, 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 um, the system was sized so that it would produce enough credits that hopefully by the end of a year, we're essentially breaking even. Now you might say, well, why not just put a huge system in, produce a lot of electricity, become an electric company and make some money. Um, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind, uh, and one of the reasons you don't want to really oversize your system, um, or, or there's not the benefit of oversizing your system, is that um, right now this is a one-to-one -one credit. We, we produce a kilowatt hour, we get a kilowatt hour back. It's a one-to-one -one, um, exchange. At the end of the year, at the end of their calendar year, which, which is going to be in March, because that's typically going to be your low point. It's after winter, you used up, up, used up all your credits. Um, <clears throat> after that one year, if you still have credits, they will cut you a check for what's left and you zero it out and start over again for the year. So this isn't an ongoing thing for year after year. Every year they, they cut you a check for your credit and, and zero it out. The thing is, right now, this is a, uh, essentially a retail, I'm not even sure what the terminology is, but you're paying you know, a retail amount uh, for the money, for, for the energy. Um, National Grid, when they're acquiring energy from other places, they're paying, uh, they're paying a lower amount. Um, I don't know if they have a term for it, but I can't remember what it is now. But um, <clears throat> it's, it's a, roughly two thirds of what we pay them. So, so they get their energy for less cost than we pay for it. Obviously they have to make money. That's, that's what they're there for. And so when they cut that check at the end of the year, and they're paying you for your credit, they're paying you in that lower rate, not the one-to-one. -one. So <clears throat> it, it doesn't pay quite as much um, to be producing tons of electricity and rolling over. Even still, it's gonna be a credit coming back to you, and it's still a good thing, but, but that's just something to consider when you're sizing your, um, sizing your system. So I hope that explains in that metering a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Now, while I'm out here, we can talk just a little bit about costs. Uh, I know that's probably the biggest stumbling block in, in people putting in solar that, you know, everybody says, I'd love to do this. This is the right thing. I, I really, I personally believe that, you know, this is the future, uh, just like electric cars. We're going to all have solar panels on our house. I think the more people that do it, the faster the price will come down. But um, I really think it makes a lot of sense for new construction. I don't know why all new houses being built don't have solar panels on them. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, um, but so just to talk about the cost a little bit, um, I would say my system's probably twice as big as is no, is is needed for most households. Uh, we wanted I wanted to size it so that it for sure covered an entire year. Um, on a typical house, um, I would say probably, you know, your install would be looking, you'd be looking at about $20,000 with the initial install. Now that, I know that sounds like a lot and they say, well, you know, most people say I don't really have 20,000 to put up front. So let's talk about how this works a little bit. So uh, first of all, uh, federal and state incentives will cover about half of that. So you're already down you know, you're looking at going to be on the hook, say for the 10 grand or whatever. Um, the other thing, what they do is you don't have to put any money down now. Essentially, what you're doing is you're taking out an 18 month no interest loan. And so the entire system will go on that account and you have 18 months to pay it off completely and have no interest. Uh, the reason for the 18 months is helpful because the some of the federal incentives you have to take tax breaks on your federal tax return and so that takes a year to go through uh, other uh, tax breaks the state tax breaks they take right the, the solar company will take right off the top and that will be part of your original estimate um, so then you've got the 18 months to pay it off now 
you know, I have no electric bill right now. So if you start paying that uh, instead of your electric bill, you know, you're already going to be paying on it. Um, now, you probably will have to come up with some money before that 18 months to pay it off. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck with some interest. Um, but I, uh, I just did some rough calculations on how, what I'm producing here and what I'm using. And I have about a six year payoff. Um, now, the system is guaranteed for 25 years or, or it's supposed to be good for 25 years. So I'm figuring at about six years of paying the electric bill will be paid off. Um, the whole system will be paid off. And from that point on, it's just it's at literally making money. Um, even if you're not making money, you're not paying for your electric. So so that's kind of a little bit on the, you know, the cost of it. If anybody's got any additional questions on, on you know, how they finance this or, or everything. Now, I also went with GreenSpark, so I can't really say how other companies will do it. I can only really talk about how, the, you know, the company that I dealt with. Um, but it went really smooth. I would recommend. They've been in it for 35 years, and uh, they are a B Corp. Um, so I would certainly recommend them. Um, and if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I'll give you my referral. We can both get some money off too. So, <laughs> so I hope that helped. Um, uh, and I'm, and I got a cloud now. Uh, I'm one of those guys that yells at clouds now. So see you later. Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. Woohoo! Who's laughing now? <laughs> it shut up!